Well, as the weather warms up, supposedly, it will, we promise. More and more students are going to be taking to the fields and then gearing up from some outdoor sports. Sign-ups have already happened in lacrosse around here. We want to make sure that the athlete in your life is staying safe. So we brought in Dr. David Buckhalter from the Ortho, Maryland, who's joining us this morning with a whole lot more kids' injuries. Big deal. It is a big deal, Tom. Yes. Well, thank you for coming in. Um, we were just talking about the different types of sports. When I think sports injuries, I automatically go to football and concussions, but that's not necessarily true. That's not necessarily true. Football uh, predominates the fall. In the spring, we get into lacrosse. Uh, we get into the overhead and throwing sports, baseball, softball, tennis, uh, track and running. So it's a whole host of uh, other types of uh, problems that come up. But we're seeing better equipment, right? I mean, I know um, right here, I mean, Under Armour is uh, leading that as well. Uh, STX has improved a lot of theirs for lacrosse. So why are we, are we seeing more injuries or are we not seeing more injuries? We are seeing more injuries. Um, you know, there's an increased rate of injury. There's increased rates of participation. Uh, kids are playing more often, more, you know, kids are not only, uh, you know, this is sort of the culmination of lacrosse for a lot of people, people right. are playing all year round. Same with baseball. So we're seeing actually more injuries these days. What's the worst one? What's the one that you see the most popular of that's, that's really the one that's like, all right, we could stop this by doing this? Well, you know, there's certain degrees of prevention that can be done. Uh, certain injuries are going to happen no matter what we do. Um, but certainly concussion is one that you mentioned, you know, wearing proper headwear, wearing proper equipment. Uh, so with lacrosse, that is a, a sport where there are concussions. Uh, making sure that pads fit appropriately, that can help per, uh, prevent uh, fractures. Right. Uh, and then there are ACLs and rotator cuff injuries that also come up, uh, some of which can be prevented by some uh, you know, early training and strengthening mm -hmm. and uh, neuromuscular control exercises for the knees, okay. uh, strengthening and throwing exercises for the shoulders. But mm -hmm. um, they can help, but you'll see your share of injuries regardless. Are you seeing more at a younger age, though? We are seeing them at a younger age. Again, okay. I think that's due to that earlier participation, that more year-round participation. Okay, yes, and much more intensity. I mean, parents now travel sports are heading out, younger kids. I mean, I have a six-year-old now that's already in lacrosse. He signed up for basketball practice as well, so we're doing multiple sports. Um, is this education that needs to be put out for coaches and parents? I mean, or is this for schools? Who, who is this for? Really, the education's for everyone. Everyone right. plays a role in preventing sports injuries. So okay. from parents, coaches, physicians, uh, there's a great website called StopSportsInjuries.org, uh, and that directs it to all the different uh, people involved Good. touching the young athlete's life. Great. Thank you very much. Dr. Buckholder, thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate that. My pleasure. Well, of course, if you missed any information right there, you just gave us a whole lot of it. To learn more, just head over to our website, foxbaltimore.com slash morning. Coming up on Good Day Baltimore, there are a few new additions not just to the Gillen household, but also to the National Zoo, when visitors might be able to uh, see the lion cubs in person. 8.58 is the time. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News, all local, all morning.